so in this video i am going to talk about two things one is test scenario template or sample test scenario sample and test case sample so test scenario will have basically three columns in the spreadsheet one is test scenario numbers test scenario itself then recommends number just to map back to the test scenarios this will give a common traceability matrix if you are mapping these recommends to the test cases so test scenarios are nothing but these are an il level the feature information so what are the features being implemented in the application those becomes a scenarios let's say order creation order deletion sending an order deleting an order these are the test scenarios test scenarios can be further break down into test this template where we can track the list of test scenarios here for example i have given a test scenarios for a gmail account so here the scenarios can be login scenario mail send scenario mail, mail delete scenario mail compose scenario right there are the various test scenarios you can generate for the gmail and the same feature numbers are given here which are recommends you can call it as a user stories as well in the agile model this is how your test scenario template and the examples will look like i hope you understood the test scenarios now let me move on to test case template with uh, some of the examples in it so we just saw the test scenario template now this is the test case template so let's see what all the things will be there in the test case template test case template will have test case number where we talk about every test cases will have a unique numbers and here test case title what is this test case does all about in a crisp and clear title if somebody sees at the title will get to know what all the things we will be doing in the test case so in that way the title should be crisp and clear more meaningful title the test case steps are nothing but here we provide the things in detail like uh, enter gmail.com then click on enter then login page should view that is the expected result then after that page then you should see email id or phone number text box then click on next button should be there that is the expected result Each steps will be minutely written then once the test case steps are written then we will see the expected results so what are the expectation for every step you perform that is the things you are going to record in this column the next column here is actual results this is expected what you what you are looking but this is a column when you are executing whatever the results you are going to get those results you are going to put it here let's say you expected a login button if it coming in next button then that is a expectation results so you should put it as a expected result is login button but actually you are getting next button that is you are going to store it as a actual results as a next button that then over all the status for that test step execution which is pass or fail to execute this test cases whether do we really need input data for every test steps if you required input data then this this column will have to fill those information with the input data and if there is anything uh, additional information you are going to provide for this test case for every step or every information you can provide under the comment section then these are the two additional columns we have provided just to ensure that we are able to trace back to your recommends one is recommends column another one is test scenario column 
So whenever we get a requirements, we will be writing test scenarios in the first place. Once the test scenarios are done, or at the very high level, then those test scenarios are converted into detailed test cases. Let's say one scenario can have 10 test cases, one scenario can have 50 test cases. Based, again, based on the complexity of the requirements. These two extra fields are provided just to ensure that we are able to trace back to the requirement. Even test cases should be able to trace back to the requirement. I hope you understood uh, how the test scenario template look like and how the test case template look like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are visited first time testing Shala, click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox so that you can pick this to enhance your testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.